Hey everyone, I'm Corjo ECJ, and I have been making YouTube videos for a year and a half roughly and I've been getting a question that is kind of concerning for me for someone that's big into Magic Gathering but doesn't get a lot but I decided I'm going to make a video so if anyone has this question I'm just going to link them this. Pretty much this question is how do you get a secret layer? Now again, if you've been playing this for a very long time, this question is very obvious to you, but there are people because of the new X series stuff coming out with Fallout, Lord of the Rings that are brand new to the game and only starting to play because of the new cards. So when they release a secret layer with them, they're like, I've checked Magic the Gathering, I've checked Wizards of the Coast, I don't know where to get them. So again, in this video, I will be explaining multiple different ways that you're able to get the secret layers you know and love, and possibly find a secret layer that you didn't know existed. But first, a word from our sponsors. The sponsor of this video is me. I have started an Etsy page where I'm going to try and be selling clothes that I've design thought would be funny thought would be cool thought would be amazing on people's bodies so i literally spent maybe a month or two looking at different resources and stuff to come up with the nicest clothes i could possibly find with the coolest designs that i have done myself with stuff like play mats hoodies t-shirts i'm going to try and do phone cases they're harder than i thought but I do think that it is a really good thing to actually put into. So if you would like to help me out or help the channel out, please go onto my Etsy, it will be linked down below and you'll be able to find very nice clothing and also be supporting the channel. So links down below. And also if there's any other designs, I will be putting on any of my social media. So please follow me there as well. Now to answer the question, how do you get a secret layer? We have to start off with explaining what a secret layer is, so here it is. Secret layer is a sub-brand of Magic the Gathering that groups existing cards into small collectible Pestudo sets called Drops. With strange themes and wild new art styles, the name was inspired by the uncard R&D's secret layer. So of these I have got a fair few secret layers and I did not know it was based on the uncard. Now that is something you learn new every day. But if you didn't really understand that, pretty much what they do is they get a selection of cards from Magic the Gathering, sometimes change the name but will have the older name underneath, give it a brand new art and pretty much go, you have X time to buy this and then it is gone from us forever. Each secret layer is different and depending on the drops or you get, you can get additional things. They've done some secret layer drops where it's a convention in a box. They've done advent calendars, but the premise is still the same of we are selling this product for a short amount of time and now a limited supply where you order what you want, we pack it up and send it off. And these cards usually are more valuable than the original cards because of how difficult they are to get and also how fancy the art are. When it comes to this, it is varied in art style. Like for example, the Fallout ones came in two different separate arts, one in the Volboy art, and then two in Fallout Shelter art. Each secret layer comes in with very different arts and different artists. There's also a thing called an artist series where they get famous artists that have done games or just artists in general and tell them to make their own secret layer. But now to answer the question, how do you buy these? In this video, I'm gonna be going over three different ways. Starting off with probably the more annoying one if you're quite lazy and don't really want to invest is buying it off the secret layer website itself. Now, when it comes to this, you need to rather follow a secret layer on like Instagram or Twitter or anything like that, or have a fair few people that also are big into Magic the Gathering. So if you knew, that might be a difficult thing. If not, you have to check the website once or twice a month because it's one of those things that they literally have a post up being like, this secret is coming out soon. And then in a week or two, it is then released for roughly a month. It depends on what it is. But now where they're doing it, where it's a limited supply as well, you need to get there faster than you originally did. So again, it is good to start following people that play Magic the Gathering stuff to be able to find out when it's coming out, the day and time, and be able to jump on it fast if you really want it. The second place is easier. However, there is a downside. It is more expensive. A lot of people buy these secret layers knowing that people eventually want them or not be able to buy them there and then. And then people later on in a year or two build a new deck and go, that old secret layer would go really well in it. 
or they find out about it and go, I want it. So the second place you can get it is the secondary market. This is different from wherever you are in the world because different companies sell for different regions. But there is usually a lot of secret layers on this website, but because you're buying it later than average, you have to pop up with the price. Me personally, I use card market, but I live in Europe. I know a lot of Americans use TCG players, so the best thing to do is depending where you are in the world, look up your kind of local online game shops. And then thirdly, this is kind of the same as the second one, but it comes with a little few differences. You can buy these off eBay and Amazon. These are usually people that know that the prices come up, so they buy them not knowing what they are, and then not selling them on card websites. These are more pricier than the ones on the secondary market. I'm gonna call it the tertiary market, but you can really tell it's people that have no clue about Magic the Gathering, no clue about that you can buy cards off certain websites, and just go sell it on eBay and Amazon to make a quick buck. When it comes to this, I say this is the last area you should look. If you cannot get it on the month or few days that it's on the Secret Layer website, try Card Market, TCG Player, or any of them type of websites. And then if you really, really want it, then I say go to eBay or uh, Amazon. But again, you're looking at a very, very high price up. And I've seen and heard very rarely that it's a bit dodgy sometimes that people have made fakes and stuff. So be careful when it comes to online buying. But now you know about being able to buy secret layers if you ever wanna buy one, you're probably wondering, what is the next one? Luckily for you, I have made a video on that and that video will be located right here. It is a very good watch and a lot of people have been loving that video and I'm really happy about that. But if you're also into Magic the Gathering, there is also a playlist of stuff, is it worth it? Or any more of the questions that you may have right here. And then there's a subscribe button here, which again, please share to your friends and all of that. And I will see you all in the next video.